you're looking to get a copy of your IRS transcripts and you're either having issues with getting it online or you need some business transcripts, well, I got you. It's the form 4506T. We gotta fill this thing out, mail it in. Of up to 75 days, the IRS is gonna take, get you your transcripts mailed back to you. All right, well, here's the form. You get it online. I got a link in the description below, but it's pretty straightforward, this form. Lines one through, shoot, four. I mean, rather straightforward. Name, social. If you file jointly, put the spouse on here as well. Social. Line three is your current address that you want these transcripts mailed to. And line four is the address that you used on your last tax return that was filed. This is essentially like a verification step here. No need to fill out line five there. Line six, right? We got a couple different sections here, I guess. The transcript requested. So if it's an individual return, right, you'll put the 1040. But if this is a business return, right, 1065 is for partnerships, 1120 is for C Corps or 1120S for S Corp. You'll have to just fill that out right there. Now, whatever transcripts you are requesting, you'll just have to check the box here, okay? Um, these are essentially the common ones, I'd say. Line nine here is what years you want for the tax return. So generally, you know we're gonna use 1231 for the year. So, you know, 2018, you'll do 1231, 2018. That's that tax return transcript right there. You'll get. Um, and, you know, if you need additionals, obviously just put them there like you see here. Now, if you need more, you'll just have to fill out another one, essentially, is what it uh, comes down to. You check this box, essentially saying that, yep, I read this and I think this is all legit, good to go. Uh, if you want to put your phone number there, there you go. Sign this thing, date it. Uh, well, if it's a business, you'll have to put your title there. But if it's an individual, you won't have to do that, obviously. And your spouse's uh, signature and date there. All right, so if you're requesting an individual transcript, you're going to have to use these addresses here listed, right, depending upon where you live. So you have to see, you know, what state you're in and what mailing address corresponds to that. So there you go. There's those. And for all others, essentially the business returns, right, you'll have to use these mailing addresses down here, again, depending upon where you live. You also have the option to fax this thing. Pretty straightforward. If this was helpful, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much.